This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits via online course modules. To access these and for more information, visit our website at www.emergencymedicalminute.com backslash CME dash courses, or simply click on the link in our show notes and create an account. Today we're going to talk about scalded skin syndrome. The scalded skin syndrome is something that affects kids at ages less than six years old, generally, although adults can get it, especially adults who have like underlying kidney disease are the ones that most commonly get it. So what you see on these kids, you know, the way it happens is you get a staph aureus infection that then produces exotoxins. And it's those exotoxins that are the ones that cause all the issues. It causes a downstream effect on the skin, which then causes like erythema and then sloughing of the skin. And so these kids present with lots of pain, right? And they present um, dehydrated, just like a burn patient. And they usually have uh, an underlying, you know, this bacterial infection, right? The staph infection. So treatment for them is multimodal. So IV fluids, you know, get IV access, IV fluids, and then antibiotics. And so the best antibiotics for this are stuff that's going to cover staph. So oxacillin is a nafcillin. Those are kind of the two big ones that, that you go to. These kids many times can be admitted to the floor as long as the floor is comfortable doing wound care. And wound care on these kids isn't putting any type of adhesive dressing on because adhesive dressings will just rip off their skin. So you gotta be really, really cognizant of that sloughing. And so it's large amounts of that petroleum type layer and then things like zero form dressings. So that way it easily comes off and doesn't slough. You know, these kids, if they're sicker, they may end up needing like a burn unit. And so a lot of times they'll be admitted to a burn unit just because it's like a burn, right? You, you're losing, losing that skin. So the recovery period for these kids, they usually do pretty well after you get antibiotics. It's like two to three days, they have a, a significant improvement. Um, and so big thing on these guys is IV fluids, get antibiotics on, and uh, making sure you're very careful with their skin when you're caring for them. The Emergency Medical Minute would like to thank our sponsor, Swedish Medical Center, for helping fund our nonprofit organization and make this podcast possible. Donations are essential to our organization to cover operational costs and fund the creation of our online courses offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits. So if you enjoy our show, and if you're able to make a one-time or recurring donation towards our organization, any amount is helpful. Please click the link in our show notes to make a donation Thank you for listening.